Feeling thirsty? Order a drink. More and more robots are entering our homes and workplaces. Human-robot interaction is a research field that aims to make this integration as smooth as possible by making the robots as human-friendly as possible. At LAS CNRS, we focus on the design and development of robotic software dedicated to fill the gap between the robot's own perception of the world and our real human environment. In this experiment, we tackle the so-called handover problem. How, where, and when should the robot give the object to the human? In this film, we demonstrate the implementation of several algorithms on the PR2 robot that enable a human to order a drink and other things from the robot. Mm -hmm. All right. We use an ASIS action sensor to detect and acquire the human posture. This posture is used in turn to place an avatar in a 3D model of the world, reconstructed dynamically by the robot. Come to me. For instance, when the human asks the robot to come to him, the robot makes use of the avatar position to compute an adequate place where to navigate to. In the demonstration, we use two items, a green can and the red bottle. Bring me the red bottle. The user talks to the robot through an Android tablet using Google Voice recognition to convert speech to text. Bring me the this text is analyzed by a custom software that identifies the actions or questions and extracts the meanings of the words, a process known as grounding of the natural verbal interaction. Here, the robot is asked to fetch a can. Okay, now, where is my object? Okay, I see the object. Let's try to pick it. The robot queries an internal symbolic knowledge base to know where to find the object. Once it gets close to the table, it localizes precisely the object thanks to 2D barcodes and computes a body configuration suited to pick up the can. And now, hand it over to you. In the last step, the robot computes a new motion trajectory to bring and hand over the object to the human. The handover trajectory algorithm can take into account any relative configuration between the human and the robot. The final robot location and posture can easily be tuned depending on the amount of effort the human wants or is able to provide. <laughs>